back so i've got a video for you but so this is not full acrylic it is mostly painting and hopefully my head didn't get in the way too much i've done two nails of acrylic just so then i've got a bit of an acrylic um application in here um so i've gone in here i've already prepped the nails pushed back the cuticle cleansed the nail plate um etched the nail plate and then applied the forms and now i am applying um fantasy by cjp um, so I've gone in with my first bead at the free edge and I've patted and pulled that down and then I've gone in with another bead because we wanted it a little bit longer. Um, so you can see me just patting that across and getting it into shape. And then I will go in with a cuticle bead and then the next shot you will see is the pinky because it's not because I didn't record it, it's because I didn't want to leave it all in. They're all exactly the same, it's exactly the same application as I always do. Brush is behind the bead, pat it, pat it, pat it and pull it down. Um, so yeah, I skipped out the next two nails and the thumb because I'm just doing a plain set and then all of the nail art is on top of these. So yeah, hopefully this isn't too boring. Um, but like I said, I didn't want to bore you with just watching me do repetitive, just applying and whatnot. Um, so I thought I'd do some art this time um, and hopefully it's something a little bit different and you enjoy it. Do you know what I mean? Hopefully, fingers crossed, that's all you can hope for. Um, but yeah, I wanted to give you a little bit of something. We're still here and we're still in quarantine and we're still bored bored in the house and i'm in the house i've not gone to tiktok yet though no i haven't i've been watching lots of tiktoks um and i've been doing lots of nail art tutorials as well these ones i did before i did a tutorial on them um so i signed up for a tutorial which i actually only did tonight um but i seen the picture and i wanted to give them a go anyway because i have done another tutorial on gel painting um, and it did help with my control of the gel. So, I mean, while you're doing nothing, do you know what I mean? I mean, if you're doing nothing, that is. You could always go and do some of these tutorials that are going on on Instagram. I've used um, Emily Maraki. Um, she's really, really good. She's also from the same town as me as well. So, I do, like, I already knew of her, but she's really good at gel painting. Um, so, I did flames with her and these ones i did obviously like i've just said i've just done them myself but um there's a girl called jolie ocean um jolie ocean nails on instagram and she's just done tonight a full um louis vuitton fendi um gucci and um chanel um she's just done a tutorial and i to paint all of them as well so i mean my tutorial isn't a qualified tutorial at all because before this like this is me winging it so i just thought i'd show you me winging it <laughs> so these gel colors that i'm using are all pastels um and they are from oh here we go again i never remember anything do i it's brill bird actually and brill bird colors we have go they're called um brush and go gel colors um we've got go 88 we have got Go 67, Go 85, and Go 87 as well. Um, and that's the colours. They're just all the pastels, so you will find them. Um, and basically, they are um, the no wipe, so it's like using a no wipe top coat, essentially. So these are matte nails, and if I wanted to leave them matte, I could just paint this on, dry it, and away you go. That's why they're called brush and go gels um, and they are really really good so you can use these and then you can put pigment over them and then top coat them or like this you can just leave it um, my daughter was extra excited about these nails so she was already taking pictures that's what that flash was so all I'm doing with all these ones is painting that border around and then join, joining it in like an arch so it's a little bit like um, like your French tip but not um, so I'm going to do it again. In some of these shots I do go out slightly but not too much. That's why I've kept the video because I was going to get rid of it. Um, but 
yeah most of it is in shot so hopefully you know i mean if you like it you like it if you don't it's one of them things you just don't i don't know what else to say i'm doing my best here it's either this or sahandra which is my dummy hand um but i have been doing lots of tutorials like i said so i didn't want to share the tutorials um because it's not really fair to the girls that are doing it on um instagram um so i didn't want to do that and obviously i've been busy using the hand to do that and you know doing it on tips and things so i just wanted to show you like on a real hand i do prefer my videos to be on real people um so this is me winging it so you did see me smudge there as well because like i said never done this before um hadn't seen any tutorials on it i was just going off a picture um so yeah it was a bit of a pain in the butt especially since my daughter is a bit of a, a twitcher she moves around a lot and she uses a phone a lot so yeah the reason that i'm putting the dot there is then i can pull it around and meet that dot so then my arch is even um and in most cases that's my messy bum that you can see um in most cases i did get that arch even um but you can see when i go in with the brush to tidy up um because i try to keep these lines really thin i think it looks better thinner um but sometimes when you mess up with gel paint you do tend to like thicken it out so you make it even you know like more even um but i didn't really want thick thick lines so try to keep them nice and thin so i'm going to repeat that through the other nails um and then i'll come back and do the louis vuitton one and talk you through that one i hope that everyone is keeping safe and keeping well um and welcome to all of my new subscribers you're still joining me even though i haven't been putting out very many videos um but basically i've got no material <laughs> because i've got no people to work on um but yeah so i will be doing some more videos but when and whatever is another thing i'm not going to give any times or dates because i don't know what it is about quarantine but you, you're not working but you seem more busy it's crazy it is literally nuts i do feel like i'm mega busy at the moment but it is with college work and well university work um and the kids and the house and my grandchildren so i have been a bit busy um but i do try my best and i have been learning some new techniques as well like this for my um clients when they come back i can't wait until they come back i miss them so much honestly it's the times like this you realize that actually clients are probably mostly just your friends because i have no other friends i just spend all my time with my clients my nail clients so I've talked my way all the way through this and now we're on the L for the Louis. So I've done a diagonal line and then um, I'm doing the lines across the top. So this one, the one on the slant um, should be thicker. So that's where I'm going over it again. Um, and the bottom line should be thinner. So I'm trying to keep that thinner. So it's got like that angle to it. Um, and then your V wants to start dead center of where that L is. So you can see me trying to get the angle right there because with a, a client you can't twist the hand so you have to do it at an angle. So I'm doing the left side of the V and then the right side of the V. These should come up higher than the L. And then you want to put your two caps on the top as well. And you've got a little vertical on the end of the L as well that you can see there where it sort of comes up. I'll probably go over that again in a second. But these gels, oh, I didn't go over it again. Um, so I'm going to show you again on this hand. So your diagonal and then across and that little tick at the end. And there you go, I'll go over it and then do my little top. And then I'll start in the center and probably do the left hand side because that's the way that I found it the easiest. So I had done these once before on a nail tip I did try um this and this bit went perfectly fine it's all the little ones um that I found harder to do the other little symbols that I found harder I'm going to put the two tops on that and then I will flash cure it in between as well so these gels take 60 seconds to fully cure but I do just flash cure in between so then if I mess up and I need to wipe off my next symbol um it won't wipe that away and then all my hard work won't have gone so i'm going to do four dots i don't know if i get this right the first time actually you know thinking about it and i'm pulling it down into like a little bit of a 
a teardrop and then pulling the other side up and you can see me doing it there this is sped up so I might look like I'm a pro at doing this I'm not I've sped this up because um, otherwise the video is super long so you can see I'm just doing four petals as though I would if I was doing a flower so if you ever painted flowers before this will be super easy for you and then I'm going to join all of them up into a little circle and try and get them so then they're even and you will see actually I did fudge this up I've just remembered um, but you will see that in a second so I'm going to join them lines and then I try and pull that out a little bit and then pull it out a little bit too much not on this side on the other side I do um, I end up with a big blob of gel which is always a bit of a nightmare so on this side and now, there you go, too much, too much Jean, that's my Aries that. So then I'm going to get my clean up brush and I'm going to try and clean that up a little bit. So on my clean up brush I have got um, just cleanse um, from CJP on there, which usually is what you wipe gel away with. Um, so I've just put a little bit on my brush and I'm just tucking that back in, wiping it off, tucking it in, wiping it off. And then there you see, I've managed to sort of save that. <laughs> So for this one you just want a circle to start with and you can thicken it out later so you can see there there's a little bit of a, a notch on that nail where I've top coated it um, so I've left like a little bit of a bump but I will go over that in a minute and even that out and once you've done your circle I do it in little tiny 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 strokes if you see me do this in real time you'd be like wow she takes forever um, but yeah, I do it in tiny strokes just so I can make sure it's an actual circle and not end up being like an oval or whatever shape. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull down that paint that's already on there into a little V. You can see me doing that there. Do the top and the bottom so then they're pointing towards each other. And then the sides. You don't want to pull them in too far because you need to fit a dot into this one. Um, so I use my dotting tool for that and I just put one little dot in the middle but once I've got it even but you can keep working if you keep a little bit on your brush there's this big blob on that one I don't know why I kept that big blob on there but you need minimal amount on your brush there you go I've wiped it off and then just pull it out and then you can go around and you can tidy up then just anything that doesn't look quite right and then put your dot in the middle and then flash cure that. It is a bit slightly off kilter that one if you look at it now, it's not in a straight line. Um, so what I'm doing now is I'm just doing half symbols on each of like the sides of these nails. So I'm doing exactly the same things, but I'm only doing half of the symbol. And I did go slightly out of shot, well, quite a lot out of shot actually. So you'll see me doing it. I've done half a circle and then I'm just pulling that in. So these bits were really hard to keep in um, in the camera but essentially you're doing exactly the same thing but only half of it so you can see it's just slightly off camera there I'm doing half an L and then I'm going to figure out where the V should be coming out and then I'm just going to put that line poking out there and put the cap on that and then I'll flash cure that as well once I'm happy with that and then I'm going to do that one more time as well on that side a bit further up. Just to fill in the gaps at the sides, that's all I did it for. And so that is the finished product. So I have gone away and I have top coated these nails and that's all I've done after that is top coat with an all white top coat. I hope you enjoyed this and I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Love you all, bye!